So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tell me how much money you've done. So if each of the on the board, so if each of these were twenty-five cents, how much money is you yeah. And then give me a thumbs up when you think you know the value on the board. Okay. How much money do you think is on the board? Maybe I'll give you a few more seconds just to get up and do Who has the value of the number that's only shown on the board? Olivia, what number did you get? She got three dollars and seventy-five cents. Olivia, how did you get that value? Okay, so she found, yep, there are quarters. So she found four at the top, which made a dollar. What else did you find? Did you find another group of four? Okay. The group, oh, the group, oh, I got you. So that's actually, um, so you more saw like this group. And then one more group of four. So then how much money are these three groups of four worth? One group, three dollars. How many are left over? 75 cents, 25, 50, 75 cents. Raise your hand if you got three from me. Raise your hand if you did it and it's down the answer and it's okay. Who found it's used as a different strategy? So how much energy did you use? So you did four at the top, and then what was it? Oh, oh, oh. So you saw it, your color is going to be green. So you saw four right here. Okay. And then another four below it. And then the same four here. At the bottom. Good job. Good job counting those things. We are going to show you our lesson. So if you want to erase your boards, and you won't, you'll need them in a second, but not quite yet. So what I need you to do is just flip them on over so that you're listening. And we have a task today to figure out and help us someone with something that I think you all might struggle with as well. Or you might be able to relate to this person. Um, her name is Jenny, okay? And her problem is called Fortnite time, okay? And so Jenny, she has three brothers, and they all love to play Fortnite. However, they must share with us. Has that happened to anyone? Has that happened to anyone in the You might have to share a tablet or... Here's something with your assembling thing. What about you? What about you, Jake? Oh, third graders, raise your hand or give me a thumbs up if this is something that you have. Maybe relate to Jenny. I know I did. Great. Yeah, maybe it's a clear that box. Something that, hey, Logan. Something happens with me and my siblings. 
and my dad, we all have Netflix accounts. We have to kind of like find times to watch Netflix because you can only have so many people on one account watching at the same time. So I've been kind of related to Jenny. Okay, so we're going to help her with her problem. Okay. So Jenny has three brothers. They all love to play Fortnite. However, they all must share the tablet. Their parents let them play for a total of 24 hours. So if you want to write maybe 24 on your board, so you know how many hours they're allowed to play each week over the course of the week. And your job is to decide and help her figure out how many hours does each of them get to play if they all want the same amount of time. So third graders, what you want to do is you're going to determine how many hours each kid gets to use the time. So how many brothers does she have? Three. And she wants to share them, and there's 24 hours they can use to share. The, um, the tablet. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to tell me how many hours you think they each get a week with this information. So if you have an answer, I want you to share with me how you thought of that. How did you think or come up with that answer? And maybe if you find one strategy, is there a way you can think of it differently and find a different strategy? Three brothers. Okay. Hey, Field, I'll call on you in just a second, okay? All right. So, third graders, let's take a look. So, we know how many hours does Jenny. Yes. How many hours does Jenny get and her family get um, each week? Yep, they have 24. Now it's just her brothers for this question. And she has three brothers, okay? How did you think of this in a way that would help you figure out how many hours they get? Tatum, what did you do? Okay. Yeah, so each of her siblings would get eight hours. So she used a math fact that she knew and she knew 8 times 3 was 24, and we know multiplication is equal groups. So this is 8 or 3 equal groups of 8, so 3 kids with each 8 hours. So she had 8 plus 8 plus 8, and they would each get 8 hours. Who solved it differently? Next one. AJ, how did you solve it? I solved it by saying, if I thought... Um, okay, we'll do that problem next, okay? But right now there's 24 hours between three brothers. So how can you solve that? Um, I did seven. Um, which taught me to multiply eight times three. Um, and then so if you when you added seven plus seven plus seven, what did you get? Seven plus seven plus seven is not quite 23. What is seven plus 21? Okay. But they still have how many more hours to get to 24? Three more hours. Thank you, Callan. So if I add seven plus one plus one plus one, how many hours would each of them get? Eight hours. Yep. 
who saw this in a different strategy than Tatum or AJ? Who used something different? Charlotte, what did you use? So you did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Is that what you did? No, I'm not like Oh, so you drew three groups. That's an awesome strategy. So she showed the three boys, one boy, two boys, three boys, and they needed to divide how many hours amongst themselves? Not yet. They had to divide how many hours between them, themselves? 24. Hey, AJ, can you put your book away? That's showing me that you're not listening to the lesson. Okay. So then she put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then she looked at each of these tallies. What do those tallies represent? What do each of those tallies represent? So one tally is equal to what? Equals one hour. So she divided that even too. If you use that kind of same strategy, how can you use this work right here? I counted to 24. Um, maybe you can divide that into three groups as well. But um, what you're going to do now is you can choose any strategy that we talked about. So maybe you use a math back that you know. Maybe you use that group that um, Charlotte represented. Maybe you use a number line. Maybe you use a um, hundreds chart, whatever you can do. Now, Jenny wants to play Fortnite. So instead of three boys that she's sharing, she's sharing it with her and her brothers. So now instead of three kids wanting to play Fortnite, there is four. So now, when there was only three, they shared, they each got eight, eight hours. Now I want you to see how many they would get if instead they had four hours. Or four kids. They still only get 24 hours. But now they have four people to share with. See, a lot of people are choosing to use Charlotte's strategy.
All right, so as I was walking around, um, something that I noticed, a lot of people were doing this. Or I saw some people doing this. They had four hours, and they gave everyone 24 hours with the iPad. Is that correct, third graders? No, why is that not right? Jacob. Right, they have to share that 24 hours. So think about it as saying, has anyone had to share maybe um, pieces of candy or maybe uh, has anyone had to share toys or Legos with their brothers and sisters? Yeah. Would, are you all like my family? No. And if I, if we shared them and this person, my brother got 10 hours and then I only got four, would you be mad about that? If your brother got 10 hours and you got four hours? True. Maybe you realize that you're, maybe you're grateful for the time you have, but I would feel like, oh, that's not necessarily fair, right? So you need to make sure they're all even amounts. So what are some strategies you use to help your, um, help Jenny divide the 24 hours into four kids? What strategies did you use? Sarah, what did you use? Okay. So you said if I, you broke up the 24 into 12 and 12. So if there's only two kids, they would each get how many hours? 12, but there's four kids. So you broke it up again into four kids. And then what's 12 um, split into two groups? Six and six, six and six. So what is the total amount of hours each of the kids got? Six. Who solved it? Who also got six? Raise your hand if that's the nice answer that you got. Who solved it in a different way than... Right, keep your hands raised if you solved it in a different way than Clara. Jacob, what did you do? Ooh. Awesome. So maybe you just tried it and like, oh, maybe I'll try if they each get five hours, see what they can, what that would get me to. So that would be equal to 20, but you saw four extra hours that you can pass out. So then you added one more. So then Jacob, how many did they each get? Perfect. Who solved it differently than either um, Clara or Jacob? Maya, how did you think of it? Yeah, so yeah, that's an amazing strategy. You might have known that six times twelve, six times four, is equal to twenty-four. So if you know that fact, you know that four or twenty-four split into four groups is equal to six. So that multiplication fact might have helped you solve this problem. Let's hear from one more student who solved it in a different way than either of the two that have shared. Um, yes, Jake. Uh, AJ? Six. Ooh, so you used my, you used, had some similar thinking to Maya? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I don't know. All right, third graders, I'm going to go over your must do, made you list. So thank you for participating. You can erase your boards and flip them over. And then I'll share with you what your job is today. All right. Bye, Orion. We'll see you in a little bit for our reading lesson. Bye. Have a great morning. Bye.